And welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to talk about We Don't Talk About Bruno. So first, I'm going to play you the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord position by chord position, with tabs right here on the screen, as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy. Alright, so this is a pretty thorough arrangement of the song and I'm gonna explain why it's missing a verse in a second, but first things first, I want you to know this chord. I want you to know this specific fingering of an F sharp 7 chord. Okay, but before we get to that chord, I want to remind you of the free the totally free guitar workshop that is available on lickandref.com. If you go right now to lickandref.com, you'll discover that I have prepared for you a free, thorough, in-depth video series. It's a complete workshop, completely for free, that you can sign up for right now and start right away. It's a full guitar workshop designed to break you free from confining habits and misconceptions in your playing and free your creativity and your guitar powers so you can express yourself better on the guitar and make your guitar music completely your own. So go to lickandref.com, open a new tab, go to lickandref.com and sign up for the free workshop that is gonna completely transform the way that you approach and experience your guitar. Okay, thousands of guitar players have taken this workshop so far and I'd love for you to take it as well. So I'll see you inside. And now let's talk about the F sharp 7 chord position, okay, before we talk about Bruno. 
Um, so the logic behind what's going on here is this. Okay, if you play this, you pretty much get the same sound that you get from this chord, but because this is finger style, we're not gonna strum the whole chord. We're just gonna pick a couple of notes out of it. So we don't have to put everything on. So we can free up some fingers to solo. That's the important thing. So what I'm doing here is I'm opening the E string, okay? Because this is the seventh note from F sharp seven. It's E. So we have E as an open string, the first string. And then I'm just putting on two and three on strings two and three. Okay, it's inside the chord. Okay, okay, it's the same notes. So I'm just putting them on two and three on strings two and three. And I'm using my thumb for the bass. Okay, two on the sixth string. Okay, now you can do it like this with your first finger on the bass but then you're using exactly the same fingers that you're using for the bar chord. So this actually saves you no effort. But if you use your thumb, you have two fingers that you can solo with. And this is important. Okay? So this is the chord position that I recommend. Now, having said that, if you don't want to get used to a new chord, then just put on the bar and put on one finger on three on the third string and pick strings one, two, three, and six. Okay, this actually pre pretty much frees up the same amount of fingers. Okay, you have two fingers free, just like with this chord. So you decide which F sharp seven version you want. Um, you can pretty much use both of them at your discretion. So I'm gonna show you some variations on where it's better to use which chord. Okay, so just one finger, okay? The bar and one finger, instead of putting on the whole chord. Or the finger style version with the open E string and the thumb, okay? So, you start with zero, two, three on the bass, okay? This song starts with the hook. We don't talk about Bruno. So, this becomes a G chord. So it's zero, two, three, that's the intro, okay? And then you put three on the second string and you play strings two, three, two, three, two, okay? So, And then you have F sharp. So I'm putting on the thumb version. Okay, and I play strings two and then three, or I play the chord and then the third string. Okay, and then you have four two on the fourth. Okay, so it's zero, two, three into G. And then you have F sharp. And then 4-2 on the 4th. And then you have G again with 3-0-3-0-3 three, zero, three, zero, three, all on the 2nd string. Okay, so you can pick the whole chord if you want. And then you have the open E string. You have time to put on F sharp again. This time you play the whole chord. That's the hook. The intro hook. Because later on... When you play it again, you're going to add a higher vocal to it, okay? Okay, so this is the first version. Now, you can play the bass anytime you want, okay? Anytime you want. Okay? You can play it throughout, continuous, doesn't matter, as long as you feel the song. And then G. Um, if you want a slight harmony, okay, not the full chord sound, you can just harmonize with the next string, with the adjacent string. And you have the open E string, and then F sharp 7. Um, or just F sharp, because you're not picking the E string again. And then you have the verse. 
The first verse is actually the hardest part of this song because there are so many vocals overlapping one another. Um, the first verse becomes the hardest part. Uh, so, sorry seems to be the hardest word. So, um, B minor, okay? So, the chord progression here is B minor, and then, just for a second, you might have E minor. When I say might have, I mean that this is a fingerstyle arrangement. You don't necessarily have to play all the chords all the time. So it's B minor and then E minor for a second. So it's just open strings, one, two, three, and six. And then you have F sharp or F sharp seven. And then you have E minor again, bringing you back to B minor, right? So it's That's the idea, that's the basic idea. So when you're playing the arrangement, just follow the chord progression, just keep it in mind. So you start B minor with, okay, just the first string. So you can play the chord right along with it. And then three, three on the second string. Now you can play it with E minor, Okay, the open, uh, the open third string and the sixth string. Okay, just two open strings with three on the second string. Or you can just stay on B minor. Okay, no one will know the difference. And then you have F sharp seven. So if you're playing F sharp seven with the thumb version, you're just playing the open E string. If you're playing F sharp with your bar on, so you need E. So you play five on the second string with your little finger. And then you play two on the first string. Two on the first string, that's your final note. So again, whichever you prefer. Or, right, whichever feels better to you when you play. And then you have, it's B minor with two, two, two again on the first string, and then you have five on the first string, so you can play the E bass or the whole E minor chord. I just play the bass, and then you have three, two on the first string, and then F sharp seven. Now, the open E string is important here, okay? So I prefer to play this shape here, the shape with the thumb, because it's the fastest to put on. Instead of, okay, instead of having to change my position, my hand position, okay, with my little finger on the second string, this is far, far more convenient, okay? Far more convenient. Um, then you have that other vocal, in the background, it's the E bass string with two, two, two on the fourth. And then you have this, okay? It's B minor. And I play the whole chord first, strings two, three, four, and five, because the vocal, the second vocal, the overlapping vocal, okay, um, is this, okay? So you need that four on the third string. So my solution is to play the whole chord. And then the second vocal is right there inside the chord. So you play the chord and then you just play strings three, two, one again. Okay, just three, two, one. Just an arpeggio of B minor. And then, and then you have this. It's F sharp with five on the first string. So putting it on with the thumb version is a little bit, um, it's a little too much of a stretch. So this time I use the barred version. And I just add five on the first string. And then, okay, three, two, again, on the first string into E minor. So you play the open strings, one, two, three, and six. So it's, or if you want, you can play it within F sharp, okay, so, 
while the chord is ringing. And then the open E minor chord, or even five on the second string. Okay, just for um, embellishment purposes. Then you're, um, you're playing G, but it's not the hook yet. So it's G with three, 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 five, three on the first string. So it's, and then you have F sharp. So it's, okay, three, 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 five, three. And if you notice, I'm using my thumb for three on the bass as well. And F sharp. This time you need the bar because it's two on the first string. And then you have the second vocal being this. And you need to bar for F, for, uh, not F, for B, for B minor. So it's, okay? So it's two, 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 hammer on to four on the fourth. You bar two and you play the second string and then the fifth. And you put on B minor. So it's G, F sharp, bar, okay, now you have four on the third string, two, three on the second, then zero, two on the first string. Now you can lift the bar and put it back on or play E minor. Okay, two, three, okay, you have the open E string and then two, three on the first string with E minor. Or you can still play B minor if you want. You don't have to play the E minor. Okay, and then you have F sharp, just F sharp, no seven. Okay, so it's the full chord. And then you have, okay, it's F sharp flat 13. It's an augmented chord. So you have three, three, three on the third string, then three on the second string, then three on the third again. So with F sharp on, it sounds like this. So with, with F sharp. And then you have the same B minor line. And then you have three, three, three again on the third string and two, three, two on the second. Or hammer on, pull off. And then you have the same B minor line. But instead of F sharp with two, you play F sharp with five again on the first string. Okay? With five. And you have... Um, this. This is the next line into G. Okay, so B minor, E minor, and then F sharp. Augmented again. Okay, and then that second line. And then you have third time. Five. Um, two, four, two, two hammer on to four on the fourth, or two, 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 two hammer on to four, or doesn't really matter. This is not the lyrics. It's an arrangement. Do it any way you feel right. And then two pull off to zero on the third, and then the G bass. And then you have this. the first line of the hook. We played it before. This is the same thing. Now we add the vocal. Okay, so it's three, zero, three, zero, three. This time on both strings one and two. And then you have five on the first with zero on the second. Okay, so it's... And then you have F sharp. Again, F sharp, not seven, full chord. That's the hook, okay? G, F sharp, 
second vocal. Then you have the second verse, which is much, 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 much easier. Uh, it's the um, quiet uh, character. It's that uh, one with the super hearing. So um, it's more of a rap than anything else. So what you do is this, uh, you just put B5 on and I mute, I mute, I palm mute the strings. Okay, so I'm just playing four, 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 two hammer on to four on the, uh, on the fourth string, on the D string, with two on the fifth for B, okay, B minor. Now when I hammer on the four, I play the E bass for E minor. Okay, so. And then I play the same thing with F sharp and E minor. Okay, so it's the same solo, but this time with F sharp and E as my bass notes. Okay, so B, E, F sharp, E minor. Okay, so it's B, E, F sharp, E. These are the bass notes. Um, now, uh, the third line is the same as the first, so it's B minor, E minor. And then you have the F sharp bass alone. Okay, so it's... Okay? Then you play everything again. Now, there's no real mistake to make here, okay? It's all about feeling. It's kind of a rap thing. So the melody really, really doesn't matter. You can freestyle over it, you can miss notes, you can add notes. It's all about how you feel like playing it at the moment. And then it becomes even easier. You take B minor and you play the third string twice. I harmonize with the fourth. And then it's the same thing with E minor. So it's Okay, so it's B minor, 4-4 four, four on the third, and then E minor with the open third. So it's... And then you have... Then it's F sharp, the third string uh, twice or three times, and then the D string with four, it's in the chord, and then two on the fourth, you can play it with the E bass if you want. So it's... Okay, so... B minor and E minor. You don't even have to play that last E bass. Hey, you can just mute the bass notes and make it a solo. Hey, you play it twice and then you just play the B minor, E minor. Um, then you play okay, the hook. Now there's a, a verse I took out because it's kind of a rap thing again, this time with high notes. And the high notes are pretty much just the chords. It's pretty much just the chords. So it doesn't really translate that well into an arrangement because it's basically just the chords. It's just yeah, it's just the chords. So if you want to do it, if you want to play that verse, just play the high notes of the chords, and that's basically everything that's going on here. So I decided to jump right into the bridge which changes the melody. Okay, remember, when you're playing an arrangement, there's no lyrics going on. So playing the same chord progression over and over and over again, three times in a row, you know, it gets a little bit tired. So I took creative liberty and took it out of the arrangement. You can put it back on, okay? You can put it back in there, just play the chords. So, <laughs> D. You have uh, two two five two on the first string with D. Okay, two two five two. 
Then you have A with the open E string and then ending on five. So you can slide. And then you have um, B minor with, again, two, 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 five on the first string. And then two, zero, um, uh, three, two on the first string. Three, two, and then G with three, zero on the second string. So it's, then you play it again, D, A. B minor. Okay. So if you want a little bit of syncopation, play the first three notes and then G. Okay, so it's. Then you have this. Okay, it's. A, um, imagine a D chord. You just pull off the first string and then the second string. So it's two pull off to zero on the first, three pull off to zero on the second. And then you have two on the third with the D bass. Now, um, it's this. Okay, now what's going on next is this. Okay, so it's two on the, um, the third string, which you just played, and then four on the fourth, two on the third again, three on the second. So remember to play the D bass again. Now you don't have to play the D, uh, the D string note. You don't have to play four on the D string. Remember, it's an arrangement, so you can just do this. Okay, just play the D, okay, the D bass note, and then strings three two. Okay, no one will know that that note is missing. Okay. Okay, uh, unless there are musical sticklers. And then it's their problem, okay? Being so critical that they can't miss one note. Or, and then it sounds weird to me because the bass note suddenly stops without reason. Um, so I just don't play that four on the D string. And then you have A. So that's an ar arpeggio of the chord, strings two, three, four. Okay, that's it. Just the A chord. Then the same thing for B minor. And then you have. Okay, it's G with 3-3-3 three, three, three on the second string. Open first string and then the second string again. So you don't take the three off, you let it ring. Then you have. You have D. 2-2-2-2 two, 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 two on the third. 4-2 on the 4th, and then A. Okay, you can play A with 2 on the 4th, so... You can also slide. And then you have... Okay, so it's B minor, you play the bass first. And then you play strings 2-1, 5 on the 1st, and then what you did before with G. Okay? Three, two on the first, three on the second, G bass, open second. B minor. G. And then you have this. Okay? It's G with the open second string. You can play it once, you can play it three times, it's an arrangement. And then you have F sharp. You play the bass and then three on the third string and four on the fourth. So it's... Then you have G again with threes on the second string. Okay, the bass and then the second string. Then you have F sharp with two on the second, three on the third. Then you have threes again with G. Then you have F sharp seven with the open E string. And then it's time for dinner. Okay, it's G minor. It's a bar on three, a bar on three with three, three, five, three on the first string. And again, you can just freestyle it. 
And then you're having fun. You just freestyle over the verses because there's so many vocals going on overlapping. So you just play a verse any way you want to play it. Okay, just the chords. You can play 0-2 on the first string, 3-2, 5-3-2, any way you feel like playing at the moment. You can um, do 2-3-2, uh, two, two, hammer on pull off on the second string. Okay, you can open the first string with F sharp as well. talk about Bruno. And you finish the song. Now, um, you can do something like this. Okay? You can slide to 7 on the bass, okay, which is B minor, with harmonics on 7 on strings 1, 2, and 3. Natural harmonics, so... Mm. Okay, and it's a nice ending. You can even leave the bass on, okay, if you want. I think taking the bass off sounds better. So, download the tab for free. The link is right here below in the description. Okay, the tabs always for free here on Lickenref. While you're there, remember Lickenref.com, the free workshop. You can also check out my Break Your Boundaries program while you're there. So, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will see you the next lesson. If you're new to Lickenref, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And... Um, have fun and feel free to talk about Bruno.